Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 510 Pressure Vessel Inspection Code. In service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration. In the previous lectures, we discussed sub clauses 5.1 through 5.8. In this lecture, we will discuss the sub clause 5.9 material verification and traceability, sub clause 5.10 inspection of in service welds, sub clause 5.11 inspection and repair of flange joints and subclause 5.12 inspection of shell and tube heat exchangers and highlight important information contained subclauses 5.9 to 5.12 material verification and traceability PMI testing can be done by the inspector or the examiner using suitable methods, such as optical spectrographic analyzers or X-ray fluorescence analyzers. At the discretion of the owner user or the inspector, this assessment can be made by 100% verification checking, 100% positive material identification PMI, or by sampling a percentage of the materials depending upon the criticality of each service. If a pressure vessel component experiences accelerated corrosion, or should fail because an incorrect material was inadvertently substituted for the specified material, the inspector shall consider the need for further verification of existing materials in the pressure vessel, or other pressure vessels in same or similar service. API 578 has additional guidance on material verification programs. Inspection of in-service welds Inspection for weld quality is normally accomplished as a part of the requirements for new construction, repairs, or alterations. Welds and weld heat affected zones are often inspected for corrosion and or service induced cracking as part of the in-service inspections. When preferential weld corrosion or cracking is noted, additional welds of the pressure vessel should be examined to determine the extent of damage. Crack-like flaws and environmental cracking shall be assessed by an engineer and or corrosion specialist. Preferential weld corrosion shall be assessed by the inspector. Inspection and repair of flange joints Flange joints should be examined for evidence of leakage, such as stains, deposits, or drips. Process leaks onto flange fasteners may result in corrosion or environmental cracking. This examination should include those flanges enclosed with flange or splash and spray guards. If repumping is contemplated, Considerations should be given to ultrasonic examination of the bolts before repumping in order to assess their integrity. Accessible flange faces should be examined for distortion and to determine the condition of gasket seating surfaces. If flanges are excessively bent or distorted, their markings and thicknesses should be checked against engineering requirements before taking corrective action. Fasteners should be fully engaged. Any fastener failing to do so is considered acceptably engaged if the lack of complete engagement is not more than one thread. Inspection of shell and tube heat exchangers 
refer to API 572, Annex A. For more information on inspection of several types of heat exchangers, an ASME PCC2, Article 3.12, for guidance on the inspection and repair of shell and tube heat exchangers. Review questions Question number 1 During repairs or alterations of pressure vessels, the inspector shall verify that all new materials including carbon steel are consistent with the specs. At the discretion of owner, user or inspector, assessment can be done by all of these methods except Answer is D. Question number two. If a pressure vessel component experiences accelerated corrosion, or should fail because an incorrect material was inadvertently substituted for the specified material, what is inspector correct action? Answer is D. Question number three. During repairs or alterations of pressure vessels, when an inspector verifies new materials are consistent with the specifications, who decides the sampling size for this assessment? Answer is C. Question number four. During welding repair, who is responsible traceability of material to the original identification? Answer is B. Question number five. During repairs or alterations of pressure vessels, when an inspector or examiner verifies new materials are consistent with the specifications, what is the sampling size for this assessment? Answer is D. Question number 6. According to API 510, crack-like flaws and environmental cracking shall be assessed by
Answer is D. Question number 7. An engineer is consultant in case of. Answer is A. Question number 8. Which of these in service well defects can be assessed by the inspector alone? Answer is B. Question number 9. Flange fasteners should be fully engaged with the nut. Any fastener failing to do so is considered acceptably engaged if lack of complete engagement is. Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. <laughs>